Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. So I can see that already Spirit saying this is an opportunity, it's an opportunity to shift focus and to remember what it is that you are holding that you can still harvest here. You know, we have the three flowers floating away, but we still have the two that she's not unaware of because, you know, she's holding the branch that the flowers are attached to. But what she's lost, what's in the past is holding more of her attention. So this is a great time to maybe do like um, a, a ritual of releasing. For some of you, it could definitely involve water here. Um, but yeah, almost closing the door on what's happened in the past and looking at what's ready to be harvested, what you can move into here, um, any action you can take. I'm also here for some of you it's about the person that you have become so perhaps this is a time to try and um you know release some things from the past release older versions of yourself and um i don't know if connecting connecting to source energy connecting maybe to your higher self would be very healing or helpful at this time to take that higher perspective because i always feel that some changes may have been positive but others you might be looking at and thinking i kind of resent that I'm now more of this or more of that because of this connection, you know, I, I kind of resent that I may be more jaded or um, that I don't, I, you know, I can't feel as innocently about this or my person anymore. But there's something here with this, this portal on the 8th of the 8th that you might find some comfort, you know, in this new version of yourself and allowing and being able to release older versions of self, um, you know, older versions of your connection because I feel that's evolved and I'm always seeing like you know if you're saving a word document or something and you have the different versions or if you need to recover a file um and it's about letting those go now <laughs> yes exactly we have death absolutely transformation rebirth accepting the new releasing healing Scorpio energy there so I do think there is some sort of a difficult transformation that you have been you know almost pushed into it feels through this connection through your experiences and, and there is a feeling of bitterness you know you've been changed in ways that maybe you wouldn't have chosen but there's definitely a strength in them okay what else please what else do we have what other messages do you have for me viewers please so the eight eight lionscape portal please we have the King of Wands. Oh, and the King of Cups. Okay. So this seems a very um, proactive time. A lot of masculine energy here, whether you're a woman or a man watching. Um, this is about having, you know, a heart of fire. And I know we have the King of Cups, which you know we think of as maybe someone being a little bit more passive and sitting in their feelings and that sort of thing but no I think this is about the fire that's in your heart and and you know down here I don't even think these are dolphins I think they're sharks in what looks like a stormy sea I'm not sure I think you can make that out so it's almost like after you you know release and truly accept yourself and your connection for, for who you are and, and what your connection is at this point and where you are right now it's almost like your focus shifts to this burning passion you have within and that could be linked to these two flowers that you're still holding on to you know the shift in perspective what is it that you're driven towards what do you want to be creative around what do you want to and what can you take action um towards here okay i feel for many of you after the lionsgate portal you might feel renewed you might feel much much stronger more courageous and if i'm honest there is a bit of a feeling of anger here but not the kind of anger that's very destructive it's, it's very motivational like it's maybe the initial spark and then the anger shifts into something else um and i don't really think it's anger you know I think it's just a general feeling of anger. I I'm not seeing you being super angry with your person or yourself or anything like that. Maybe it's it's an anger because of the situation or because you feel that things have been on hold or things have taken time and you're just very ready to take hold of the situation and move it forward. And I can see you have the Emperor on the back, Aries energy, it's reversed. Um, so yes, it's, it's almost like you're saying enough, enough of sitting around waiting. I'm becoming the Emperor, I'm stepping forward and you know, I'm going to, to, to 
do whatever I can to take more control here. Also, divine masculine energy. So if this is your energy, as I said, we've got a lot of masculine energy here. It could be you balancing out, you know, the feminine and the masculine here. If you feel you're in a relationship with your divine masculine, you could be feeling some, you know, bit of bit of crossness around that, bit of anger around that. Like, come on, you know, stop pretending that you've got your life in control and that sort of thing and um, actually just get on with it make the changes that i have been making as well on a real deep level here we have the two of cups reversed okay justice in reverse libra energy the eight of wands there on the back she's floating away so i do feel that yeah, I'm seeing the same message, so I'm not going to keep going on about it, but just to say what these cards are reinforcing to me is that, that there's a real focus right now on the fact that the connection is still felt between the two of you, but it's it's not going the way you want right now. It, it, maybe you're not even speaking for some of you. Um, there's been some kind of a breakdown and how things have gone feels unfair. Um, and that could be that could be where a lot of your focus has been and that could be very draining on your energy. And I feel that honestly, after this Lionsgate period, that um, it's like you're reclaiming some kind of power or like you've plugged yourself into a socket, you know, and you're full again and you're ready to go. But that comes from fully accepting the need to power down, release and, and heal, you know. Um, thing is, though, we're not talking about months and months. We're talking about a short time span. So I don't think this has to be like a long, exhausting, rigorous process. I think it's more that spirit's just saying just release just let go of whatever you've been focusing on there's no more you know you don't need to do any more um introspection around it or unpacking it or anything like that you're ready for this to be released now you're ready to allow yourself to um you know to morph into the new to grow to ascend we have the hanged man And we have, wow, the Queen of Swords reversed. You see, there we go. There's that feeling of frustration. But I, I don't feel it's problematic here. I feel it's very, very motivating because we have this upright King of Wands and the King of Cups. Things you've been thinking about, things you've been holding on to, waiting for, I think you're done. I think this is encouragement as well to embrace that feeling and to take action. So let's see. Yes, look, reversed, she's looking back with her telescope towards the past. So I feel you're still going to be looking at the past and feeling annoyed about it. But we move from this feeling of sadness, melancholy into kind of anger and then saying from anger, right, I'm, mo I'm motivated, I'm moving forward, I'm taking action. And you see this king, he has a drum. So if he's walking along the street, he or his drum, I'm not sure, is on fire and he's banging it. He's definitely going to be getting some attention. And I, You know, good for him. I feel like that's the energy that you are in moving forward. And your, your higher self and spirit is encouraging this and saying, yes, draw attention to yourself. He's standing tall, whatever it is that's going on within. If you need to express it to your person, to people around you, if you just need to make a statement in general to the world and say, this is who I am now, go for it. Absolutely. We've got Pisces here with the Hanged Man. Okay, so what can you tell us about this Queen of Swords, please? I'm hearing something about a day trip. Um, I don't know if someone's been thinking, oh, I wish I could visit so-and-so, such a place, or I've been thinking of, of going here or there. Um, this could be a great time to do that as well. Okay, Queen of Swords, we have, oh, look at this. Seven of Wands in reverse, that's exactly it. Upright, this guy is in a prison. Obviously, again, this is him feeling limited, restricted in the reverse, and look, it's almost like he could break out if he really tried, but he's been holding back. Maybe, I don't know, for, for, for so many reasons, you know, he's been holding back possibly depending on your situation. So it could be waiting patiently, feeling it's not appropriate to move forward, really feeling like, okay, this isn't the time or I'm limited here. Anyway, reversed, he does, he breaks out because he's like, enough, I'm not standing here anymore. So there's a real feeling of, of anger actually about time that's passed, feeling like you've been kept waiting, feeling ignored potentially, feeling you've given so much loyalty and what have you seen back? 
yes, you've seen, you've seen and felt a lot energetically, but where's the action? So this is a wonderful time to transmute some of this if you can, you know, give this up to your higher self while the, the veil is much thinner and you can have that, um, you know, connection more easily. Also, the Seven of Wands can be fighting for something. Um, and I think what you're not fighting, you know, what you're letting go of is the sadness. You're not fighting against um, feelings, you know, trying to, to be positive, trying to look on the bright side. I think you drop into, well, this is what it is. It's gone how it's gone. And through that, you actually find this release with death. And then the motivation becomes, you know, the fire, the passion, the love becomes real. You can really feel it. I'm not saying it's not real, but... You know, sometimes if, if we're not feeling great and we try and be like, oh, I'll make a gratitude list, I'll do this. You know, sometimes what we need is to just feel that we don't feel good and then that will allow it to change and then we can truly access the better feelings underneath. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, look, the world, exactly. This is a very um, cohesive reading, so much around release, rebirth, and, you know, moving forward after Lionsgate as this integrated version of yourself who accepts who you are now, everything you've been through. And yes, there's, there's still some anger about the past, but you're fully on board with yourself. Um, let me see. Wow, look at this. You see, Queen of Wands, very confident, very powerful. You're not waiting for anyone to help you to feel confident. And we have now the King and the Queen of Wands. So let me see what action um, you could take here. I think this is going to be very personal, very individual, but let's just see if there's any guidance around this. Queen of Pentacles and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so in a general sense, of course, this is really um, getting down to getting down to business. <laughs> This is about focusing, focusing on whatever is going on in your 3D reality that you either want to become very accomplished at, anything you want to improve, um, could be around the home with the Queen of Pentacles, a hobby, work, um, but something material or something you can invest in and hold and see and watch it grow. The other way I can look at this is if you're in a situation in which it's um, you're able to and it feels appropriate to take action towards your person, this could be you deciding, I'm not going to just just you know, stand here in this in this prison and wait for my person to come towards me and make this a committed situation. I'm going to take some action. So again, depends on your situation. Maybe it looks like sitting them down and having a conversation and saying, I'm looking for commitment at this point in my life. How about you? Or um, we're already in this relationship um, and I feel like for me, I would need it to change in these ways. How about you? Are you prepared for us to put the work in to make that happen? You know, it, it feels like it's it's being hands-on in a very practical way here. Um, and it's interesting, we have all of the elements here. We've got the, the Queen of Swords, the two kings with the fire and the um, water, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have a really good balance, masculine, feminine energy. So like I said, if you feel like you've been too much in feminine energy, you're going to feel very balanced after this. Um, but this is this is taking the energy and it's, it's using it, it's channeling it, it's making it into something physical in whichever way. Like I said, it could be with your connection, could be... Um, you saying, well, there's nothing I can do there, but I'm not going to keep my whole life on hold. I'm going to, you know, to move forward in some other way. Um, but essentially, I'm seeing you being encouraged, you know, during this um, this portal to to go through this death and rebirth, death, the world. For some of you literally going on a trip, maybe just a day somewhere. But yeah, releasing the old, which is... Um, I don't know if you feel you're stuck in limbo in a way as well, and that can be disempowering as well. Basically, you're reclaiming your power, you're accepting yourself for who you are at this time, and coming out the other side really, really strong and motivated. And that's it, that's what I felt. Any anger, any frustration you're holding on to still at the end, you know, as we come out of Lionsgate, is not going to be destructive because you're channeling it into this Eight of Pentacles energy, which is the energy of work, of focus, of dedication, of doing something. And that is transmutation. What is this down here? It looks like a... Oh, it's a rabbit. Do you know what it looked like to me from a distance? It looked like a little animal with, um, you know how, uh, like Shakespeare, I don't know what it's called, that ruffly thing <laughs> around his neck. Like there was a very um, sophisticated animal with one of those on. I don't know. But no, it's not. It's just a rabbit, a regular rabbit with its own fur, which makes more sense. Okay. So 
what messages do we have for my viewers, please, around Lionsgate? Nothing will come of this situation. Exactly. Look at this. Yeah. Looking back at the past or mourning the version of yourself that you were, feeling resentful about the ways in which you've been changed and, and the time that's passed. You know, I get it. And as spirit gets it, it, it's upsetting, it's disappointing, it's angering, it's painful, especially if it's time you feel you cannot get back. But I think, you know, there's a bit of tough love. Nothing will come of doing this for you moving forward. And yes, it's important to acknowledge this, but it's equally as important to let yourself heal from this and transform because there is so much here for you moving forward whether as i said it's within this connection or for you personally or both let go of this yeah <laughs> let go of this 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 nothingness this past that you're looking back at um and i'm not saying the whole past has been miserable but whatever parts have been um you know let that go during during lion's gate especially if you've been struggling with releasing this this is a fantastic time to try this again look it's time to release negativity exactly and we have this full moon in scorpio which completely lines up with death okay let's get one more <gasps> yes expect powerful change this will be you this is you after you've gone you know what I am who I am and I'm even stronger because of it and I can be just as fabulous um, and that's just how it is and here you are showing up powerful. Now you know what's interesting if we look at this moon it's got this like purple ring around it. It's I think it's coming up a little blue on the camera but it, it's purple here and then we have it's almost like we've zoomed in we've gone close up and then you know we're focusing on the moon but there's it's almost like there's a secret message and I'm, I'm obviously interpreting this here <laughs> so there's a secret message around the moon and we're like oh what is that that purple ring let's get closer and then you know we have all this purple here and it's telling us the truth is release this release negativity that's the hidden message here and i think you've you've kind of known it but it's, it's you haven't been ready it's not been the right time or it's been difficult or you know whatever so we do that and then what's been hiding behind the moon is all of this powerful change and that's going to be revealed to you that's that's coming through after you've done this releasing um so yeah i just i just kind of feel maybe you know sometimes we can we can be afraid to step fully into our power because it might mean well our ego decides it might mean we lose people in our life or we have to go forward alone or um, we're going to get, un uh, you know, uh, attention that we don't want or it's not going to be safe and, you know, all of these things, it probably won't happen. Um, so we can hold ourselves back and I feel what's happening for you and, and what you're being encouraged to do is not to hide from your power anymore or hold yourself back from it. And you might be thinking, I'm not, but I bet, you know, by mid-August, the end of August, you're going to be thinking, actually, I feel, you know, a lot stronger than I did before, or I'm doing more things than I was before, or I'm being more proactive in ways that I didn't even think about. Um, yeah, I don't know, but but there's you're definitely stepping into a period of, of much more. Well, it's not more power, it's yours already. I think you're just being encouraged to accept it, invite it in. And I think the resistance has been, it comes with a degree of anger. And who wants to walk around feeling angry? You know, nobody. But like I said, you won't. That's just going to be the spark that, that then transforms into something else. Okay, let's get an animal spirit guide message. We have weasel. Be silent, pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So I feel this is a message to accept what's happening inside and outside and not try to change it, but observe. Yes, observing is naturally going to allow acceptance and then a transformation. As I said, with that death card coming out so early on in the spread, I don't think you've got lots of deep work to do. I think you've already done that. I think you've already been there. I think it's time to just let go of the remnants, actually. 
and we have penguin yes the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing there we go and you know with all of this energy of the moon blocking out this potential yeah you're moving from the darkness into the light now and then on the back, blue heron, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. And that is exactly what this King of Wands energy is doing here, what you're going to be doing. Because people might say, I don't think you should light yourself on fire. Or I don't think you should walk around banging a drum. And, and <laughs> you're saying, well, that's what you think, but I think differently. So I'll do as I please. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a blind spot oracle card and see... Um, Okay, what else? If there's anything else you can pull through, not that you need anything else, but anything else we can move our attention to during this Lionsgate 8 8 portal. Okay, we have. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I say it like that? We have the number one, um, the magician. Again, you know, if we think of the fall, we've started that new journey. The number one is about the self. This couldn't be, I don't even know what the blind spot is going to be for this. I'll tell you in a minute, but how significant is this? Exactly. You're starting again. The focus is you. This is a very, very empowered energy. Don't block your power. Be the magician. Transmute, create. Um, okay, so I don't know if you're getting any intuitive hits off of this sigil, but let's see what the book says. Your fear. If you have drawn this sigil, the thing preventing you from clearly seeing the reality of the situation at hand is your own fear. Well, there we go. Let me read a bit more. By its very nature, uh, to fear is to push something or someone away from you. This is why fear is the number one most isolating experience on the planet. Yes, and if you feel you've been, you know, trapped in this prison here, um, that's very isolating. The more fearful we are, the more alone we are. It's important that we come to recognise what all our fears are about in order to both understand our reaction and choose how to respond to our fear. Yes, exactly. So what do you fear? That's actually, if you're going to meditate or journal, that could be a really good prompt to, to write the question or ask yourself, what do I fear around stepping into my full power? Or what do I feel about transmuting this energy? What do I fear around, what do I, I think or fear will happen if I allow my anger in or my frustration? Um, what am I worried might happen if I accept the new version of myself? You know, you, those sorts of things. Um, because as I said, this whole reading is about you coming out the other side so, so, so strong. Even if you're strong already, you're strong like times 50 um, on the other side. So there we go. Stepping out of this period of darkness and being so glad that you let yourself go on this journey, you know, once you're on this other side over here. And I do think, I do think you will still look back, you will still think of the past, but it, it's from a stronger position. It's not a, from a position of sadness, regret. That's another thing. I don't know if you need to forgive yourself for anything. This is a good time to do that as well. It's from a position of oh, strength, power. I don't want to keep repeating myself. So I'll stop the reading here. But yeah, I think you get the message. So a really powerful time for you potentially, if you if you want it you, this is an energy this is a reading very much showing that this is available to you if you want to go through this process there's i'm not seeing a tower or anything like that you're not going to be forced you're not going to be pushed through it so it's here for you if you want it like i said from the 26th of july through to the 12th of august that obviously the main portal is on the 8th of august but um yeah there we go okay so i hope this has helped i hope it's you know um Maybe if it hasn't directly helped, at least sparked a thought around something or it works in union, unison with any other readings, information you pull through about, you know, the 8-8 portal. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope it is good for you. I hope it is productive, healing, whatever you're needing from it. I hope you get it. And I hope also, if you're watching this when this reading is released, that you have a very nice weekend. Okay, bye.